and hello! Welcome to our newest episode of our Hatful Boyfriend Let's Play. Uh, this episode we'll be pursuing, pursuing this guy, which is Shiragane Labelle Sakuya. And oh. joining me today is Nubarama. Surrender... No, that's not it. What the fuck? It's Cheese Eating Surrender Monkey, this guy. He's a disgusting frogman. And if you are also a disgusting frogman, fuck aren't you. you. Aren't you Canadian? Yeah. Canadian, so, English Canadians hate French Canadians. Why? Everyone hates French Canadians. You're all Canadians. Because they're separatist, pretentious pricks. That's horrible. I'm, I, I'm sure they're nice people. Right? Um, no, they're they not have to nice be. people. They're people. People are nice. I think if you could, you know, put them to a group of people, maybe Nazis, um, pop pop. Anyway, so we've... We've looked up. We've actually researched the game. Finally, yeah. we actually looked into what it. Wait, takes. have you have you spoiled it for yourself? Like I have. Or no. Did you? Um, okay. I just looked at the the quick notes versions. So how this game works, and what we've discovered as we have played it a bit more, is that there is a dark undercurrent below all the romance and stuff, right? And that um, culminates in something called the hurtful boyfriend route. And to get that, you have to unlock a shitload of stuff. Um, all of the endings, which there are well, 18. To oh. get the Hurtful Boyfriend, you don't have to get all the endings. But what we've also found out is that some of the characters have multiple endings, and the Hurtful Boyfriend route also has multiple endings. But what that means isn't that the endings go two entirely different ways. It's that there's a, like a truncated version of the ending, and then a complete version of the ending um so in our case we've done shu which is the doctor and we did his complete route so you've actually seen everything to do with shu um but if you go to the gallery here this actually displays all the endings and there's two pages of endings um right. so what we got was the happy couple ending which is the complete ending for the doctor and what we were missing was the shitty version of the ending, which is the such if beautiful your eyes you have. was mentally deficient, basically, you could access this ending. Yeah. But we made our character study, so we never got it. Yeah, it's like apparently he likes smart people, so if you studied a lot, then you would get the complete ending, which is what we did anyway. Um, but in this case, so we, we did a fully fast-forwarded, like, 30-second long playthrough. It was, like, it was like under a minute to get such beautiful eyes you have. And that was just, it was literally just a truncated version of the other ending. So we just missed out a scene. So we didn't feel the need to go and actually record that fully for here. You've actually seen it in its entirely, entirety. Um, but what we do know is that there's only one other character with two entirely separate endings. Um, and it works the same way. So there's a truncated version and a full version of that ending, which is the pretty boy, which is the, um, the rich french guy which i showed you at the start of the episode uh right. so we'll be doing that and we'll be doing the complete ending so you'll see yes. whatever there is to offer and then like this time in the background between this episode and the next we'll just follow that through and do the um incomplete ending and you don't have to see that then we'll move on to someone other character all right so you ready noob let's do this yeah, let's do this okay so with this guy, he actually likes charisma. No, that's and the other so... guy. You're pointing at the wrong guy. This guy, isn't it him? No, it's the other. It's yeah, it's the other. no, it's, it's him. The other guy is, is here. Him? Yeah. Oh, okay, because the feather. Yeah, right. I mistakenly. The was weird. The, this guy in previous episodes, when talking about Yu Yu, right. he was actually down here. Right. Anyway, so this is they're, the. They're they're half brothers. Yeah, they're half brothers. But this is they're both this is the like fancy French guy. So we're right. doing him. He likes charisma, which means we're going to have to fail our exams at the end of the thing. We also right. know, let me have a look at this, that his name is Certain Sakia. choices give you plus 10 he likes charisma. He likes racing blend as well, because he's a winner. All right. So, let's do this. We have to start a new game and go charisma the whole way through. That's what we're going to do. Also, certain choices will also give you bonus charisma, I found out. Really? Yep. Oh, cool. Please enter my name. Oh, fuck. All right, so these are my second monitor. 
Give me a second. It has to boot up. This is, what, this is one of the things... One of the few things I think... I don't, I don't like about this game. Which is... The UI elements frequently show up on my second monitor. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. All right. And Are we just going to skip through everything button. like before? Yep. Da, 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 da. So how have you been recently, Cynic? I've what been good. Been I've been pretty excellent, actually. Just in general. Like... I've been working out more, so I feel healthier. I've been adjusting to um, waking up at like five thirty in the morning. That's so, good. yeah, I just it, it's weird that waking up later feels better. So earlier feels better, like you feel like more energetic. And I worked out today morning, and as soon as I woke up, um, we haven't turned on the audio, so let's do that. Yeah. All right. And that is when you do music class. Speaking of anime, I, I've been reading some manga mm -hmm. literally five minutes ago. It's... Good for you. Oh. What, what manga did you uh. read? It's rereading. It's like a relatively well-known manga that's genuinely, generally pretty good. Like parts of it are really weird. But uh, it's called Bunny Drop. And it's just like a story of this dude who adopts a six-year-old girl. And he's like... 30 years old it's it's like that kind of story I've but then it turns into some really sort of weird that. incest love story no. a la woody allen what so, no yeah I've heard bunny drop is like full nice it, it is full nice until the second half what in which case it just turns fucking crazy and unnecessarily bad okay well it's Happy not bad it. it's just weird it's just All genuinely right. weird it's something that woody allen would do and not this character oh okay Moving on. So, for this... Don't you know, um, Woody, Woody Allen married his stepdaughter. For this guy, like you have years. to choose vice president here. Because he likes powerful women, which is fun. Gender stereotypes aren't good, I think. They're bad. Let's see. I'll be the vice president. All right, we're the vice president of the student council. Excellent. Cool. Now I think this is stuff we've seen before. Yep. And Sakuya is him, right? Let me check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On foot. Why? What? Why are these? Why are they hiking? Shouldn't be getting exercise flying by like, flying. Isn't that better? Yeah. Follow maybe bird. maybe now that the birds are human size. Like, it's just, they just physically can't fly. Maybe. Yeah, that actually is accurate. With their wingspans, you, they wouldn't be able to okay. propel themselves if they were just scaled up to human size. At all. Alright. He's a poser. I'm unsurprised. Okay. Music class. Poor girl. One cr one wisdom. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Alright. So now it's the sports festival. And we are supposed to be cheerleaders, which is new. We've never done this before. We just... So are there other birds that are cheerleading with us? Um... I don't know. We haven't done this before. We bet... I bet... Yes? Because I could see birds cheerleading, like flapping their wings. Yeah. He's here. That's see? like, that's a bird-like thing. And he's perfect for cheerleading. Look how beautiful he is. Yeah. Amazing Except feathers. he's a man, and cheerleading isn't a, something men do. Because cheer, mean, men no don't mean. look good in skirts. 
we've gone over this. <laughs> Although we we've already talked about men in skirts. Yes, but are there no male cheerleaders? They're totally male cheer cheerleaders. They like help the female cheerleaders. But they don't wear skirts, so it's not it's not interesting. What about the library bird? Nageki Chan would be a good cheerleader. I think you're being sexist. I'm not being sexist. I'm I think just defining a man clear totally gender be a roles. Like, have you seen that movie? Have you seen the movie? I think it's called. It's not Step Up. It's the, uh, the one movie? with Kristen Dunst, and she's a cheerleader. Spider Man. Is she a cheerleader Melancholia? in that? Melancholia. No, neither of those. Have you seen Melancholia? That's a good movie. I haven't seen Melancholia. Oh, it's a really good movie. Um, no. What the fuck uh, was that movie? Either way, it's one with jazz hands. It's the first time, there's a movie that really popularized the jazz hands. Eternal Sunshine. Oh, no, wait, that's no. not what I'm saying. Uh... I don't think Eternal Sunshine had anything to do with jazz hands at all. Uh, Jumanji? Nope. The Virgin Suicides? Nope. Get Over It? That could be it? What else is there? No, this is not, not that's not it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're- You were leading to a list. It'll be on there. Oh, no, I was just skipping, because she's in a lot of films. I don't want to just list all of them. Go ahead. Why not? We have nothing else to do. All right, let's go. New York Stories as Lisa's daughter. The Bonfire Vanities as Campbell McCoy. Die, High I don't strong. need you to say who as. Just name the movies themselves. High Strong, Greedy, Interview with the Vampire, Little Woman, Jumanji, Mother Night, Anastasia, Wag the Dog, Kiki's Delivery Service, Small Soldiers, The Hairy Bird, The Animated Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I think it might be The Animated Adventures of Tom no. Sawyer. True Heart, The Virgin Suicides, Drop Dead Gorgeous, Dick, Lover's Prayer, The Crow's Salvation, Lucky Town, Bring It On. Bring It Deeply. On. That's it. Is bring it, it Bring on. It On? Yep. As Torrance Shipman? Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. That's her. She's oh. totally a cheerleader. What? How did we go on that tangent? <laughs> I'm, we were talking about cheerleading. Yeah. And leading cheers and then. Male, yeah, male cheerleaders. They're totally male right. cheerleaders in that. That's, this is a movie and not yeah. real life. I don't know. Did That's you, about did as close you, as okay, I no. have ever You went to an all boys high school, so did you have a mare, male cheerleading we team? We do not have today? cheerleaders. We don't, we don't have cheerleaders either. Yeah. So we both have They're relatively not... deprived lives in that yeah. part of our life. <sighs> it's fine. I have my anime made mod, and I can dress her up as cheerleader. Are you doing that right now? No. So what's what's going on? We, we've been completely disconnected from what's going on. I've been on reading. Inside. So, <laughs> cuckoo. Those birds look very similar. It almost seems like they're the same bird in a different angle. I don't know, man. Yeah, they're pretty fucking similar. Yeah, right? Yeah. Their different eyes lighting are conditions. the same. That's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, like, Zaka, yeah. Just their neck is in a different uh, position. Let me just make sure I'm following this right. Cheerleaders. Zaka, yeah. Alright, any of the options. Okay, any of the options. Any of the options, yeah. No thank you is the walk home. We haven't gotten there yet. Let's just choose any one of the options. So yep. I'm assuming we can choose any one of the options. You are credit to team. I catch Okasan and throw him out the window. What? Damn. That's, that was... Do you think that was like an anime throw him out the window? Or do you think she actually picked up a full-sized, human-sized bird and threw them out of the window? What do you mean that was anime? Like, in anime, there's... It's like Team Rocket being blasted off into the sky. 
Like, you can have people throw people out of windows in anime, but you can't do that if it was a real life and a fucking... Well, no. There, there's, like, grounded anime, and then there's silly anime, and... I mean, this is this a is high grounded? school with birds, so I think this is more grounded into reality. Okay. Right. Uh, any of the options, right? Mm, any of the options, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to What's go the top one? To the store. That's where you store. meet the brother. I'm going to skip forward. Side. And that's a little rude. Skip forward. And then music class. Oh man, she is absolutely deprived <laughs> yep. of a good education. Dumb. Well, music isn't. Can you play any instruments, Cynic? Um, can I play instruments? Not really. I used to be decent at the drums, but yeah. become a favor famous artist is probably artistic. I. And uh, no, thank you. All right, so here it's gonna be probably new stuff. Yeah, that looks new. Mm, yeah. Her music class. Look how musical we are. Yeah. Wonder what instrument she plays. What bird instruments are there? They play what normal instrument people instruments. Yes. Really? Do they? This is an entirely new sequence. Yeah, swimming. Birds can. S oh, I guess doves. No, doves are not ducks. They can't swim. <laughs> this is so weird. They judging swimming competition Noble combat with all bear. Birds can't swim. I, I assume we pick Sakuya. Yeah. Know. Right. Yes. Yes. That we didn't get this question. That never happened. <laughs> Even the hominid. Owned. Oh no. Grinding his peak in frustration. Do you think these two are the same bird? Um, that's actually a good question. Yeah. Ah, uh, because like the neck feathers around the the other brother is like a little bit ruffled compared to the. Yeah. Second, but I I'm looking so. at stuff that can't change. We just like. Easy modification of their feathers. I, I like the beak structure. Looks well. For all we know, identical. the beaks could be similar for all birds, so we don't know that. Yeah. We need more information. If we could see the genitals, I could tell them apart. Oh, brotherly love. <laughs> <laughs> nice. They take music. That's cool. Oh, no, you don't. You're, you're not no, studying, you lady. Yep. You ain't studying at all. Alright. Or late. Very well. Yeah, we've seen this before. Alright, so what's this? Let, let me guess, you're not even looking, are you? Uh... No, it's you me too! We, we've already gone through this! Okay... Alright, yeah, this stuff, already seen it, forget it. Alright, Sakio. Yep. Yeah.
Oh god, uh, not this again! So, I can accept that... Uh, after being worn down to this point, I can accept that a human will find doves and pigeons attractive. I'm surprised that it's reciprocated in any way, shape, or form. Wait, you... you have decided that now that you have played this game long enough, you find pigeons and birds attractive? No. I'm saying that I can understand someone in this... No, I can't even say that. I can no. say that for the sake of argument, if someone by, was no, by saying that you can understand that they do, you basically are admitting to the fact that I want to fuck a bird. I I said nothing of the sort. So uh huh. I'm okay. surprised that it's reciprocated. Why would the birds fall for a human? We are not birds. Like dogs, like fornicating with people's legs. No, they're just like rubbing themselves against anything that is warm. <laughs> blue bloods. Birds don't have blue bloods. Ah, oh, I know. I should have. There's no actual sexual content. Which I am surprised. <laughs> Are I... you disappointed or just surprised? I'll be perfectly honest. I was, I'm quite disappointed. Aww. I'm I'm happy that you're disappointed. Is that okay to say? What's this one? I like. Um, it's Return to My Glorious Adobe. Adobe? Is that sure? Sure. Yep. Adobe. All right. So music class. Next one is invite him. Ooh. Wait, why did my wisdom increase? What? Click math? No, I hit music class. I think I hit music class. Maybe hit math. Either way, you just have to have hive music. You don't have to have perfect music. We spent like six hours of our weekend just looking at pictures of birds. Yep. I just realized that's depressing. That's gonna be more. Yeah. I, I think we've seen this before. I, I can't remember it, so just in case I'm reading through it. Everything's blurring together into yeah. one single scene about birds. This is- we've seen this, haven't we? Uh, yes, invite, invite him. him. <laughs> Do you have a haunted houses in um, Canada? Warm houses? Haunted houses. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's just like a worldwide thing. No, I think you misunderstood. I mean, um, the like live action interactive theater where um, people buy like an old rickety house and fill it with theatrical stuff and actors and so on and so forth. So you have to pay. Oh, and then they jump out at you and stuff like that? Yeah, but it's like yeah. sensory deprivation and they have like a line on the floor you have to follow and that kind yeah, of like, stuff. Yeah, uh, like. At amusement parks. I, Actually, no. Now I think about <laughs> it. Like the last time I went to a haunted house was when I was like eight years old in Korea, and that was like theatrical and scary. And I remember having a bad time, and I haven't been to a haunted house since then. Nice. Like there's this one where you have to sign a waiver before you go in, and you'll be exposed to like fluids and sexual stuff. Like you have to okay, no, totally not that, like nudity but... and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like a proper theatrical haunted house where their their intention is to fuck you up 
and completely freak you out. Mm. Those exist throughout America, well, in a lot of places in America, and I would love I, to go to one, I but I don't think we have any here. One. I'm sure they exist, but I haven't been to one. We don't have any here at all. Well, I've, I've Googled and I found nothing. Do you think um, these pigeons are haunted by human ghosts or pigeon ghosts? What do you mean, pigeon ghosts? Because they've, they've gone oh, to like a... Well, that's that's a model of a pigeon, so I'd assume they're fake like pigeon monsters and stuff like that's that. That's kind of funny. No, that's just normal. It, it's, we live in a world of pigeons now, Cynic. If I go outside, I'll, I would see my pigeon neighbor plowing the snow from his pigeon driveway. What's happening? Oh, he's... I'm assuming he's scared. Pussy. <laughs> this is... This is very French-like. Cowardly and weak. That's... <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. fucking frogmen. I have nothing against French people. Ants? What? Arts. Arts. Oh. Wow. I'm just worried that we didn't get the um, perfect ending for him. We'll see. Well, we can I may have misclicked. Like, we're going to have to end up doing it the second time regardless. Yep. Oh, we should have saved at some point because yep. then we might have been access it. I think I'll go look. The answer is go look. This is new. <gasps> Exclamation mark. How long have you been there? Were you spying on me? Well, I'm just dumb. I only do music. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh... On the other hand, we do live in a cave, so... We do live in a cave, and we only take music. Yeah. So, I guess she can continue living in a cave. Is this supposed to be endearing that she likes Udon so much? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know Japanese culture. Hmm. I, is is that like? But what what would you, it would be like comparable to? She likes eating spaghetti all the time. Or like, ah, uh, maybe pizza. Yeah, but what if it's like a attractive woman who only ever ate pizza? Is that endearing? Well, very soon enough, she won't be very attractive. Well, wait, say she has a like, hyperactive metabolism. God. No, not really. Really? It's like, hey, let's get some pizza. That's pretty cool. All the fucking time, though. I don't. I don't know. Hey, you looked out. Let's get some pizza. Yeah, that's like, great. <laughs> or, or like something like hot dogs, maybe. No, hot dogs is weird. <laughs> <laughs> you draw the line at pizza. Anywhere <laughs> past that is just weird. Yeah, it's just weird. Hot dogs? Hot dogs yeah. and pizza is just like the kind of stuff that you... There's no such thing as bad pizza that's unedible. You, you can just eat it. I believe you are highly incorrect. For example, no, I, I won't eat anything with anchovies on it. Well, that's just because you don't like anchovies. Yeah, not the pizza so there's stuff. clearly pizza that can be bad. Well, I'm talking about pizza. Like, you can't have a bad pepperoni pizza, I feel like. Well, you can I've have bad pepperoni average. pizza, but it's it's something you'd consume regardless of it being bad or not. Because it's pizza. 
It's just that kind of food. Oh, we're going to the mansion. Fancy. He lives in a mansion? Of course you go to the party. party wow. Like a... Wow. Different what Christmas music? What the fuck's this music? Yep. Jingle bells? Or is this... Laugh? No, no, bells, it's just right? sleigh oh, right. something. Alright, sure. Oh no, this is Jingle Bells. Jingle yeah, I knew bells. it. I can play this song on the piano. Well done. I think I still know, at least. I don't remember. I don't know, like... Did you have the thing where you're exposed to many instruments and then had to choose one? No. Well, I... I play guitar and piano. Fancy. Dad, we just in our music class, it was just like, "Hey guys, just do whatever, just do whatever you oh, want." Oh, in our in our school music class, we played recorder. Wow. And then in middle school, they made us play guitar, but I already knew how to play guitar, so that was a bonus. Cool. Yeah, for us, it's just like do whatever, guys. So I know, in high I school, it was, it was basically just like band instruments and less about. Uh, individual choice. Did something just <laughs> nice. break your side or this nope. game? Nope, San is here. That's not nice, going to a party uninvited. What's it? What is it? Uh, let me find out. It, the answer is actually... Um, you only have one job. Oh, you have one oh, job to stop do. Stop him. Stop him. <laughs> stop him. There. I fulfilled my job. Aren't we just this crony now? At this point? Yeah. It's not even love. It's just yep. cronyism. Well, I don't know. We made him clean. I think the only reason he picked us is because we were stupid and we didn't take any <laughs> math courses. And therefore, we had no wisdom, wisdom and we were easily controlled by him. We may have taken one math course by accident. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so it snows or it's raining. Okay, so in the other game, or in the other routes, you go to the shrine, but not in the Zakria and Ryu Ryuda routes, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, we've we've seen this already. Yep. All right. So he likes um, uh, racing beans. Racing beans. Fuck are racing beans. Duh. I just beans that, that like, are good for food? highly active people. I'm sorry. Blend. So it'd be seeds that are good for highly active pigeons. I like how we've gotten to the point we've, where we've started, like, we've stopped Humanizing looking these? at the weird realities of bird yeah. people and, like, how does this work. Yeah, after we've this accepted first time, them for who they are. I cannot be surprised. And I think in a, in a couple more hours, it's just going to be like, I think, I think I'm going to buy a bird myself. And then we become weird bird men. I don't want that, Cynic. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to go down that path. I, at this point... Who knows? Maybe. Am I fine with it? Love's love, man. Love's love. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this music's so familiar, too. Oh, my God. It's not good. I'm pretty happy in the Western countries I'm familiar with, they don't have an equivalent ceremony with chicks giving stuff to the dudes they like. I know, right? It's generally just one-sided. Yeah, it's the dudes giving it to the chicks. It's or like Valentine's the Day. ladies confessing to the men. Yeah. I... That's sort of unheard of here. Yeah. 
It means Actually, I don't ever have to take the initiative. How maybe nice it's a that? good thing that they are they these traditions do exist over there. Yep. Yeah. So let's let's both move to Japan and enter a Japanese high school. Well, no, about our Japanese then it's, that'll just be depressing. High school fantasies. Because those days will go come and go, and we'll get nothing. <laughs> because we'll be busy playing visual novels at home instead of accepting <laughs> gifts from our many female admirers. Obviously. What are you talking about? <laughs> If, if my anime knowledge proves me right, the Japanese girls will come flocking at me, yep. and they'll have a harem. Mm -hmm. And you just have to say the right things yeah. at the right time. Yeah. From a set of three options, which you have in, in fact, your pocket. Basically, all I know is that I have to be a really wimpy kid that gets pushed around a lot, but then I have to be like standing up for people. <laughs> and they'll stick me. So you're saying you're halfway there for people familiar with our podcast. Noob is Batman in real life. So he's yeah. essentially... All you have to do is be in Japan. Like, you just need to be yourself in Japan. Right. And, you're, and you're set. Exactly. Actually, I feel like I'd end up like one of those antagonists. Like, Perhaps. Probably. You're this guy. The guy no one likes. Yeah. You're not supposed to accept that. You're not supposed to accept that. <laughs> I don't know, man. My dreams have always to have been a Japanese high schooler. Every time I meet a Japanese person, I'm like, teach me the way of Japan and the land of the rising sun. Like, and then they found that offensive. And then they kind of <laughs> told me. <laughs> told you to fuck off. You don't have many friends, do you? Uh, no. No. That's oh. the name of an anime. Oh, he visited you. I I thought he would be too proud for that. Oh God, it's how many? Are we thirty-seven minutes in? Whoa, something happened to the audio. All right. Oh wow, it's really quiet. Fixing it. Are we thirty-seven minutes in? Um. Yeah. Let's. You you want to you want to break this until next? No, because we're almost at the end. Are we? Almost at the end. Yeah. Because I have to get going. It's February twelfth. February 12th. Yeah. February 12th. When New Year already. Okay. So, but I, yes. Wait, wait, wait. So, I, I do have to get going for a little bit. Uh, Let's just let's see this through. Alright. No, no, no. Like, can we just pause then? Okay, cool. We'll pause. See you back in, like, I guess two seconds or something. Alright, we're back. So, um... I accidentally clicked about... once, and what we just missed oh. was her saying that, oh, you are not inviting your parents here, or whatever? It sounds like it's going to be like a right a secret meeting in her case. Secret. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, <laughs> but with pigeons and people. Yeah. Pigeonio and Pigeonette. Oh, he's angry. Or... Ooh. What? Why? Don't you dare call, call my house. What? Oh. He's like a girl. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> he ran away from home to live with her? Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe. Curry Joanne. I was going to quickly mute my... Um, All right. Um, wow, this is this is one of those romance stories I've always been fantasizing about. So exciting. I asked you there. Oh, I loved sake. it's I loved. Oh, you do your job. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. This this is why I get paid for. All right. Oh, what a girl! I I'm one of the few pure blood. <laughs> ah, 
How did you know that? I I love music, but Stop my it. father does not approve. This Stop is what it. he sounds like. What are you talking about? Uh. Take me away, my prince. Our role is to be patrons and prompters of the artists and the admire. Yep, you're doing a great job. Uh, uh, Stop uh, it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so this is essentially Yukiko. Oh, similar to Yukiko for Persona 4. To some I, extent. That does me. That just shows me nothing. Alright. <laughs> You need, you need a, you're hot on your mic and you're coughing straight into it. You need to stop this. That's, that's what I was trying to do. God damn. So, I guess this is a pretty common kind of thing where like, yeah, where, like where the, the person doesn't want to, is like expected of something, but they, they prefer something. It's, it's that very common in Japanese prefer. media. I'm it is. Happy they're sending it up here with the pigeons. Et right. You've contradicted yourself. No, geez, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Another fantasy I can't live out, but I have to watch pigeons do. What is Aww. this? This is great humiliation. If a woman ran away from her rich family to live with you, would you be happy? Probably not, to be honest. I feel like that's... I don't know. Would you be happy? Uh... Living with you where you currently live? Do you live alone, Sinek? Oh, that's weird. No, I don't. And Exactly. I don't live alone either. That, so would, that would be, be weird. weird. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, is, this is pretty weird. I... But he's but she lives in a cave. Rich... If you lived in a cave and yeah. some woman ran it, maybe then, if I lived maybe in a then, cave. Maybe then, I'd feel loved. Right. Oh, God. Stop breathing into the mic. Am I breathing into the mic? Yep. I was just holding my breath. So, so far, so far, it seems pretty clear that we've done two of the more interesting of these routes already. Yeah, Shu and uh, Nike Key are the ones that are yeah the supernatural ghost dude or interesting. And the doctor psychopath dude the rest are just very generic i would say yeah this is pretty generic right. i was after seeing those numbers. two because those are the first two we saw i was expecting yeah. everyone to have some crazy twist at the end <laughs> this is so weird oh Oh, I shall return to you. And he never came back. Wait, so I don't think this is the full ending. No, well, there's more left. Oh, what? He's Whoa. living here? Oh, they must have done it. Yeah, we, we must have. The, what do you that mean? was it? Just a black screen? I wanted actual sexual content. No, he le He went away, and I came back. So I think no, this, this is... is... I think this is a further jump into the future. Yeah, and this is the um, uh, perfect or the, complete ending for this character. I think the short ending would have stopped at the black screen. What do birds eat? For breakfast. Why don't you just give him seeds? She doesn't need to make anything. <laughs> this looks more like 
at the end of the day rather than at the beginning of the day. Yeah. Whatever. Wait, who is this? I assume it's his father. Yeah. Oh, no, it's you, yeah, it's, no, his, it's brother. his brother. Yeah. Sure. All right. Cool. Um, so with that, what we're gonna do is, so this is number three, Song of the Foolish Bird. Um, yep. I'm going to, we're going to speed, speed through. Run. Yeah, speedrun a um, alternate ending for this guy. I'm gonna make sure that that was the complete ending for him, because it that might. That was the complete be. ending. Number two is the incomplete ending. Oh, okay. So there you go. So there you go. You've seen his full ending. I, I again, I assume that when it hit that black screen, that was when the normal ending would have happened, and the um, letter at the end and all that stuff, and talk about the recital. That was the complete ending for him. In case you care, for some reason. If you care about seeing all the complete endings for this game, and that is why you're watching this Let's Play, you're there at the, you go. You're at the wrong place, man. You're just but you're getting this it. is a Let's Play where you get to hear about two dudes talking about their Japanese high school fantasy lives. Yeah, and you got that. So thanks and for joining us for the episode. We're gonna run through and get the incomplete ending so you can complete that. And next time you join us, we'll do someone else. We're almost done all of them just to go through this. We are. We've done. Right. Doctor, best friend, ghost guy, and rich dude. Um, yeah. So you have teacher, weirdo, and the hot guy to go. That's right. Much it. All of them are hot guys. What are you talking about? Except uh, Nageki, who's a hot girl. Yeah, she's she's a beautiful, beautiful lady. Dude. Mm -hmm. So see ya. Fuck you. She wears a skirt in my dreams.